Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to uh, turn field 57 back into a grass field. We will get one cutting out of it and it'll turn into a cover crop for our winter whatever we plant uh, for the next time. Which might we might actually try sorghum next uh, because I modified the XML files. Uh, in the game to allow sorghum, soybeans, and canola to produce straw like they do in real life. Um, I don't know why they don't in the base game, but they do in my base game. <laughs> uh, so we are, uh, but the first we've got to do is we got to spread some lime, and we'll do that before we till and plant the soil with our direct drills. And I want to... I want to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try something. Um, over here by the... Yeah, I think it's this spot here. Can we pull lime from this thing? It would seem to indicate that we can, but I'm not sure. If we drive underneath this, and then... We can. Look at that. All right, cool. That costs us 411 bucks. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna get our line from here from now on, rather than buying it in the things from the store. I saw this thing over here. I mean, I've seen it over here before, but I've never really paid that much attention to it. And then I was looking at it the other day, thinking, you know, that's an actual load point, and um, it's near the, you know, where the stones are crushed and stuff. So I figured that's probably what's going on with that. All right, so we don't have to spread the entire field. We have to spread the original field. But you know what? I don't know. I'm probably not going to... I'm just going to probably do the whole thing. It'll be it'll be simpler that way. And lime is not that expensive, so it's not like we absolutely have to be frugal with it. Not that we want to waste it either, but you know what I'm saying, all right? So let's go ahead and get lined up. Let's go ahead and get limed up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop. And let's spread some lime. Oh, wow. We didn't even get all the way down the field with one pass before we ran out. Uh, let's take a look at the map here. And, yeah, it still shows we got a little bit to do there. How fortuitous, though, that the... The lime station is right next to our field. It almost seems like I maybe planned it that way. All right, guys, we're just about finished here with the lime spreading. Probably going to have to get a little bit more. Yeah, I'm sure we will have to get a little bit more. I'll probably just load the whole thing up again and then we can dump the rest off in a in a pallet. Oh man, we missed that one little spot there. Of course we did. We got to get it too, because that's part of the original field. I'm got to thinking though, man. If we get a big field far away from here, limeing's going to be a pain in the neck. I'd be better off to get one of those big bread all spread uh, spreaders. They don't have the width that this thing does, but they will probably have quite a bit more capacity. Um, what do we have capacity-wise on this thing? We have 3,200 liters in the bread all, the big bread all spreader. Well, there's this one too. That one has 8,000 liters. This is a mod, 8,000 liters for 24. Oh, wow. This one can go up to 18,950 liters and up to 18. 
that's 10,000 liters. Oh, wow. Okay, that's 10,000 liters at 42, but that's still only... Yeah, that would... Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to think about it. I think, you know, in the long run, the wider width, you're going to have to fill it up more frequently, but you're also going to cover more, you know, more field with it. So, I'm not really sure when it's all said and done, which one's the best one there. Okay, anyway, let's get this last little patch done here. Drive towards the point of the triangle and reduce the spreading area. Actually, I should have left that. It's all right. What we'll do for this one is we'll just do this. There we go. And one little squirt here. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Looks like the liming's good. All right, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna take this back to the ranch, bring out the three John Deere drills with grass seed and plant some grass. You know what we could do? We could do a application of slurry slash um digestate first yeah why don't we do that first so we'll get the first application of fertilizer down before we do the planting and then we'll have to wait for the for it to germinate before we do the second application okay let's start with slurry and if we don't have enough then we'll go get digestate from um our biogas factory and we're also going to have to get the um applicator again too, at least the applicator. I've seen one applicator, well maybe two for sale since I've started doing this, but neither one of them were were big ones. So I didn't I don't really want to mess with a small one because it's just gonna take too long. Okay have we looked in the sales? Yeah there's a manure spreader but it's not as good as the one we have. Uh, all right, so we want to go here. We want to go to slurry tanks. And I believe this Bomec is the one that we usually lease. Yeah, that one's that one's super expensive. This one is 21 meters. It gets the job done nicely. Okay, so let's lease that. And I might... What's the daily lease cost on this? 695 versus 1495 so so over the period of 3 days it would cost us $1800 just to sit on this yeah i don't know we'll see yeah i i'm 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 trying to decide if i want to hang on to it until we do our second application or not we might get to a point where it might be worth doing a lease to own on this. I don't know. We'll see. What I'd like to see is just this or something larger than this come up for sale. Okay, we're going to use GPS for this because I want to be as accurate as possible. And do I have, I've got this. Is this the one we used last time? Furt? Uh, no, I think that's, yeah, no, that's for my spreader. Yeah, that's for the spreader. Okay, so let's bring this back up. Um, let's do, uh, field 57, uh, I'm just going to call it slurry. 
Okay, and then we want A plus heading. Uh, wait a second. Let's do an auto width there. Okay. A plus heading. We want to go 180 degrees. That looks pretty good, actually. Except for I want to move it over a little bit. Oh, whoops. Probably over to about here. There we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's do this. That should be putting our first application of FERD on. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do double application. They'll use it up a lot faster, but then we don't have to do it once. Nah, I, I don't think so. Well, actually, yeah, because if we did that, then I wouldn't have to keep the... I wouldn't have to keep the applicator. Problem is, though, we've already done this strip and I, I don't think we can go over it again it has to be double from the get-go I should have thought about that but it's kind of too late now all right well we'll just do it this way likely the light of mine will burn out the mountains rest been my rambling years I paid my sins from the poor traveling days Oh Lord, please, can't you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain To a place where I can sit my rocking chair I rode my body up the mountain And I'm never going back again, I swear Most likely the son of mine will be found Mountains ram born and raised. I paid my duty as the sunny side cutie. Oh Lord, hear the sorrow in my heart. So I rode my body up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. I rode my body up the mountain. Alright guys, we're just about done. Um, this is going to be close. <laughs> um, yeah, we should we should have enough to do this last pass, but then we're going to have that little bit there. If we're careful, we might be able to, to pull it off. Get that. Okay. Lift it up. We have 537 liters left. So what we need to do is... Line it up this way. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna quite have enough to finish it all. You know what? That's fine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about that little strip. It's it's just not going to be that big a deal. So, uh, yeah, we got the field, I'd say, 99% uh, fertilized. And uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, okay, so let's see. It's August 1st, so let me, let's look at this again for a second. If we... Uh, if we keep the slurry tank... 
Hold on. Got to go back here to look at it. Or not the slurry tank, I'm sorry, the applicator. So it's going to cost us $2,100 for August 2nd, August 3rd, and September 1st. Just shy of $2,100. And then if we can knock it out in an hour, which we should easily be able to do, it'll be 224. Yeah, so it's it's definitely worth it for us to keep this for 3 days. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it attached to the the tank and we'll use it again on September 1st to do the second application. Next time I do this if I'm thinking about it, hopefully I'll remember just to do double application. That's what we should have done, but I had already had already started before that had occurred to me. Um, we're going to be able to get that in there with this attached to it. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be tight. Yeah, we got this. Fantastic. All right. Next up is the seating. Okay, let's see. I believe the cedar on the right needs to be switched to grass. Or no, I guess that was the one. Okay, so all three of them should now be set to grass. All right. Let's slide this all the way out and this all the way out. And I believe I have... Um, a GPS for this. Uh, it should be field 57 seating. Yeah, that looks about right. We just have to crunch. Get in the right spot. Oh, well, we bound those up good, didn't we? Crap. <laughs> um, Houston? There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay, that should be good. What will we do without super strength in this game? Ah, uh, okay. So, let's... Now we're locked in. And, okay, so the way this works is... I put the front one down first, and then use Control V for the back two, and it lifts the front one. So I got to do it again. And I think we're set. Okay, and we should be planting grass. Yep, this looks like grass to me. All right, here we go again. My rocking chair, I rode my body, his body up the mountain. Up the mountain. And I'm never going back again, I swear. In my rocking chair, I rode my buddy, his buddy up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back again. I swear. All right, guys, we are just about finished here. One more pass after this, and then we'll have it have it wrapped up.
and we were able to sow the entire field uh, without having to refill so the grass seed um, you get a lot more out of a, a tank of grass seed than you do out of out of a grain okay I think that's down yeah it looks like it Okay, so it's August. In September, we will put another application of slurry on. And let's go ahead and turn the GPS off. And then in October, uh, no, in Mm, yeah, probably in, it'll have to be in October. Let's look at the calendar for a minute. Okay, so we can plant either wheat or barley in October. When is sorghum planted? Um, yeah, we won't be able to do sorghum on this field because the hay won't be ready by the end of September. So we're going to have to harvest it in October in order to get, uh, we'll put barley back on the field this time instead of wheat, just to keep the crops rotating. Game doesn't require that, but just for realism. Okay, so let's get these cedars back and stowed away and uh, see where we are. All right, guys, it is September 1st, and... Um, I have, I have some plans, and God is laughing at my plans, and tempting me <laughs> with the Crone Big X 1180 Forage Harvester, which is on sale for 49% off. This is the biggest, most expensive um, forage harvester in the base game, and I kind of want it, um, but if I purchase this, I'm obviously going to get GPS with it. And then I have to get a header, and the header is like 60 grand, the, the one that I would get, you know, for, for grass work. And that's really going to screw me up uh, with what I'm actually planning on doing. And I'm just trying to decide what to do about it. <laughs> My gut tells me that I should get this while the getting's good, because I don't see these come up for sale very often. And if you're not familiar with the way the forage harvester works in the game, basically I could set it up to where we do everything in one pass. So we have, we would have two options and I might do both of them. I could attach a, a forage wagon behind, uh, to this and the forage harvester will put the grass directly in the wagon. So it's basically cutting and collecting the grass all in one shot. But I can also use uh, course play and auto drive and have uh, AI drive a trailer next to it and have it fill it up there. And I can do both of those things. And the reason I know that is because I actually tested this on, uh, on my test save to see how, if it would work and it does work. Now the downside, uh, aside from the cost and it's screwing up my plans is that the only header that's available for this, at least on mod hub and in the base game is um, it's only a, a six meter wide header. So it's narrower, but well, you know, so that means it's going to take longer for it to, to get a field cut, but, but you're doing it in one shot and that's it. You cut the field and you're done. You know, there's no bailing afterwards. There's no picking up bales, none of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, the way we're doing it now is we have, we're cutting it with the big M. So that's one pass. And then we're sending a, uh, a tractor with a forage wagon to pick up the grass on a second pass. And then I, and then after that, I have to go, you know, clean, do some cleanup uh, on top of all of that. So, <laughs> so my gut tells me I really should probably take advantage of this, but my tenacity is telling me to stick with my plan because my plan is something that I've been wanting to do and needing to do 
for like, what, three years now? Three in-game years, four in-game years? And I'm just going to tell you what the plan is. We purchased, back when we did the big upgrade and put all the production facilities in over across the way there, a sugar mill. I then did a couple of sugar beet contracts and put the, the beets in the mill and it produced a little bit of sugar for us and that's it. We've never since then uh, gotten that factory up and running again. It's not really that big of a deal in terms of my productions that need sugar because I can just buy the sugar and it's not that expensive and it lasts a long time. But my, you know, I wanted to be producing sugar so we could sell it in addition to using it for our own productions. And that building's just been sitting there not doing a doggone thing. So what I'm, you know, what I've been planning on doing, and this is going to, this is going to benefit us um, down the road too is I've been planning on purchasing field 68, okay? And I, I have enough cash to do it right now. What that's going to do is it's going to give us an enormous field of sugar beets, which will potentially, will probably last us a very long time. Um, and then it gives us one of the largest fields on the map that I can start using. I'm going to keep it, and I can start putting cereal grains on this field. Um, because one of the last things I'm tentatively planning on doing in this series is purchasing the cereal factory. Um, and so this would be kind of the first step towards, you know, a, a big field that we could put. Uh, we have to grow corn and oats, among other things, to do cereal. And uh, so that would be a step in the right direction. Um, so that's kind of, you know, where I'm at right now. <laughs> The thing is, is we don't really need to make, well, actually, hold on. We do kind of need to make that decision this month, don't we? Because uh, in October, sugar beets can be harvested in October. If I wait till October, there's always that the chance that the farmer, the AI farmer, will just harvest it, you know, it himself, herself, itself, whatever. Um, and then, you know, then we lose the crop. So we really do need to kind of make this decision this month in September. Um, boy, <laughs> decisions, decisions. All right. You know what we're going to do? I don't know if this is the right decision, but it is the decision that we're going to make. We're buying it. Okay. So it's been decided. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> we have $11,000. Uh, but we have, I, I need to get the, the field info mod that gives you more information. That, that's that got to be, um, this is probably, it's definitely one of the largest fields on the map. Um, 70 is probably a little bit bigger than that. I don't know, though, maybe not. They, they're they're going to be comparable, but I, I would say it would be between 70 and 68. Uh, 32 is actually not as large as 68. Just be, uh, th this is a hundred thousand dollars more than this. Um, 25 has the potential to be enormous just because it's got so much land around it that could be added to the field. Uh, 10 is pretty good size too, but I don't think it's quite as large as 68. The nice thing about 68 is it's almost a perfect rectangle too. So you got that working for you as well. Um. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the largest field on the map, but it's darn near the largest field on the map. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to have a massive, massive sugar beet harvest coming up. I know it's going to be a pain in the neck, but then again, it probably won't be too big of a pain in the neck because guess what? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> we're going to have AI work on it. I might even rent two, uh, two harvesters um, you know, to get that done. So anyway, we don't, we can't actually do that until next month though, uh, in October. And we have to do it in October because then we're going to turn around, like I said, and replant a cereal crop on that field. Now this, you know, there is a problem with that though, in terms of, now nah, we, we can't plant corn or oats on that field because we have to do that in March, April, and May. But I'm not also I'm also not planning on being ready for the cereal factory 
for another, you know, it's not going to happen right away. So we pro- I probably will go ahead and just put either wheat or barley, probably barley on that field uh, for this year. So we have a crop on it and then, you know, that'll set us up really nicely for, you know, keeping our, our flour mill stocked with grain and our chickens and all that. Okay, so the decision's been made. Weight's off my chest. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, you know, we'll we'll look at we'll probably will look at getting into forage harvesters later on because I do like them. But uh yeah, we're just not gonna do it right now. Okay, so enough said. <laughs> Let's take a look at our our finances for um uh September or no August. Yes, because we're in September right now. Uh so let's see. We uh we we spent eight thousand dollars in repairs, fourteen nine eighty nine in leasing costs. Um that was primarily for the sprayer, which we have to use this month again in order to uh get the second application of slurry on our field. Uh field fifty seven. Property maintenance, production costs, those are all the usual things. We didn't do any purchases here in August. And um, we made $103,000 off the greenhouses, 587 on fuel. Water's the same. Uh, we made about the same money on our biogas plant. That's nice to have that money coming in every single month. I, I, I think that was a great move. Um, we paid thirty eight hundred ninety six dollars in wages. Miscellaneous is four thousand for something. I can't remember. I don't like miscellaneous, man, because it's hard to remember what it was. I did something. I don't remember what it was. Um, and then we paid quite a bit of money uh, for distribution, but that's uh, yeah, that I, I don't know. It's hard again. It's kind of hard to to say if this is a little bit on the high end or not. I think it's probably not if you compare it to the real world anyways. Um, I might dumb that down to 1.5. Well, actually, can I even do that? Does it take decimals or is it all just integers? Um, let's go here. Distribution cost factor. 1.5. It seems to. Okay. Let's try 1.5 and see see how that's looking. All right, guys. Well, um, I think that's going to wrap up this episode then. Um, I have a lot of farm chores to do. Um, all of our, uh, well, our chickens are fine. Uh, cows are, are really low. Sheep are low on food. So I got to take care of all of them. Uh, I need to replenish seeds, and I'll probably just do the water too in all of the greenhouses. The manure is fine for now. And... Um, were we going to sell? I don't think we're going to sell anything in September. I think we're going to wait till October. Uh, eggs are, is going to be our big uh, se- selling item in October. So, egg, yeah, eggs are going to be, well, actually, we might even wait till November for the eggs. And then milk is going to be December. Flour, bread, cake, all of that's December, January. Butter, cheese, yeah. So um, we will be waiting until december january for selling that kind of stuff so uh yeah i think that's it so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye